Hey everybody, this is the flip through or review for the Kuan Yin Oracle. This Oracle deck was created by Alana Fairchild. It's 44 cards with a guidebook and it says blessings, guidance, and enlightenment from the Divine Feminine. This is a Blue Child Publishing so you know that the box is very sturdy. Let me just give you a minute to read the back. Kuan Yin, radiant with divine compassion. 44 cards in this guide, deck guide. Can you please? Yep, you go ahead and read it. Alright, now let's look inside. On the inside, it happens to have a pretty pink cover with a slip of paper in there so as not to scratch your guidebook. And then there are the cards. So the guidebook, oh, look at that. Probably the back of the cards. Nope. A different image. We'll figure it out though. We'll find out which image this belongs to. So within the guidebook, Blue Angel Publishing, we kind of go through prayers a little bit. They do have a thumbnail of every card in here. And then it goes over a description of what it means. Okay. Coming from this way. We do have a small little um, um, money, pun, me, um, <laughs> that's the best way to do it. And then it goes a little bit into Kuan Yin, the mother of compassion, guiding us to enlightenment, and then a couple of spreads. So this is the Lotus Blossom. And then it goes into some other stuff. And then we got some card messages. Great. Let's take a look at the cards. Alrighty, here are the cards. And they are about... Mm, five and a half inches long and three and three fourths of an inch almost pretty much four inches kind of and they're nice they have a plastic sleeve over them to keep them all in order and nicely put together so we'll take off this plastic band and we'll check out the cards one by one the backings are really pretty here standing in a lotus or with a lotus in front of her and then it kind of looks a little confusing like that could be her legs and so could that <laughs> but we'll go and check it out we've the future golden Turquoise Lotus Mother. The Yin Empress. They do have all different color borders, which I think is a little nice. Like Alana Fairchild, I know that her um, Sacred Rebels deck, it also does that. It changes. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it does not say who does the artwork loud and proud, so I'm gonna guess that uh, these are maybe images that have already existed that she may have borrowed from a creator. I'm not sure.
10 sisters of light. Tai Chi rising. Sweeping sister willow. Sound of the fierce flute. Sisters of the sun rising. Sisters of the star blossom. Completely beautiful, right? What do you think? I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Along with the backings, right? Let me look at the book real quick and see what it says. Okay, so back to this page, right? Where it goes over a bunch of the stuff. It was copyrighted in 2012. And the artwork was actually done by Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao. Okay. So if you ever get a chance to look at these, I know um, a couple of my sub subscribers, they have already viewed this deck and they absolutely adore it. So what I gather is it was a beautiful deck and I'm really happy that I had gotten this. I actually purchased this for my boyfriend to kind of drift his interest into what I'm doing and what I do with my spare time. And um, he is Buddhist. I'm not sure what Buddhist, but the, there's a statue in his house. They light incense and they have... Um, pictures of their relatives and stuff like that. Their, his parents actually come from China and um, they have a statue, they, uh, they give offerings, they completely, there was just like a lotus moon not too long ago where they, cut, they honored Kuan Yin and she protects the house and the family and stuff like that. No harm or evil is allowed or believed to be allowed to come into the home as long as she's in there and um, if they do something um, is supposed to something different usually takes place and I don't know if the statue is supposed to light up or um, there's two different statues one lights up one doesn't and um, they they are highly highly into the their religion is not a joke so this is how I would I wanted to try and um, inspire him 
or you know just let him understand that oracle cards and tarot it's not about magic black or white it's about divination and i think there was a couple times where um i completely read his cards for him and then all of a sudden something started to fall in the lines of his cards as well as the oracle cards he kind of was like eh, oracle cards they say a bunch of stuff and this and that and this and that and they're kind of like um they kind of start to lead you in a certain direction with things but when we got these it was a game changer for him and then it also um, kind of encouraged him to look into what the lotus moon was and how it, how they celebrated it and how it was written in Alana Fairchild's book and he still hasn't gotten back to me on that but I know he will alrighty guys thanks for joining me it was a wonderful wonderful flip through of this deck I'm so happy I got it thank you all for letting me know how beautiful it was when I first got it and unwrapped it from the package I hope you guys had an amazing what what just happened new year <laughs> a new year an amazing new year celebration and there will be more to come as we go thanks guys bye